Mob Psycho season three, episode three. Ever since Morishige got dumped by Miura, it's like, oh my god. Constantly. No way. Whoa. This localized voice acting. So localized. I'm actually not feeling so hot. I'll pass. Oh, come on. You won't be so popular. Anymore. <laughs> oh my god, and she sneezes unicorn sparkle rainbows. She cursed? This looks like a job for our special bowl cut boy. Put your hand down so we can see. No. This is bad. They this is it. This is our end. Check out this pick up Subomi to Subomi's got an image to maintain. It's like totally critical. Um, excuse me? Oh! The timing. You too. He looks so tiny. <laughs> oh no. All you gotta do is have a tissue. All you gotta do is provide a tissue and all of your love. Here. Tissues. Oh. And just like that, their fate was sealed. If only it was that easy. I was just thinking it's been a while since the last time we talked. <laughs> Mouse played it awfully cool for this moment. Okay, see you later. See you later? <laughs> Whoa! Over reading much? I don't blame you. I was already writing fanfics based on the fact that he gave her a tissue, so. The mob is anything like my middle school, high school, adult self. <laughs> He's gonna be thinking about that moment for weeks. This is not a danger for mob though. Life would just feel so good with Subomi. Why bother showing up to Reagan's office? Why bother with school? Why bother with grades? Why bother with my career quest? Body improvement club. Who needs those things when you have Subomi? <laughs> That's how a lesser person would think. Hey mom. <sighs> Can we talk for a second? Is this a love triangle? She's the one who truly appreciates Mob. She's the one who really notices him. <laughs> hey, so. But ow, damn. I'll give you a call at home later. Oh, damn. <laughs> Hello, Kageyama. He doesn't even realize. Oh, what? Emmy. Oh, What's oh. That? Just observe. It rains and pours. You're pretty popular. That's what I'm saying. Sometimes it happens like that. It's like a snowball effect. One girl likes you, and then suddenly a lot of girls like you. That's the middle school experience. I have spoken to a lot of girls today. Oh, this is oh oh. I even got to talk to Subomi alone. I'm fully invested in this plot and also terrified. Can I talk to you about something? Yeah, sure. Poignant shot of butterflies pollinating flowers. I think I might be getting popular. <laughs> uh... Aloof, mob. You gotta be aloof. Think like Sokka. This could go in so many different directions. It's riveting. Are all those girls looking over here? That Kageyama is such a. Hot... You have this kind of moment. You gotta just enjoy it. Enjoy it, these moments. So I know it's Ritsu. <laughs> Plenty to go around. <laughs> His face just like man trans. Wow, wow. It's a good look. That chin combined with the body improvement club. Oh my god, is this the most exciting episode of Mob yet? <laughs> you know, it's it's been a great, consistent, heartwarming, heart melting show so far. But this storyline, though, this premise, this is. The whole point, right? This is how we, where we started? It had to come back here eventually. All these things are happening around Mob's just adolescent development and interest in Tsubomi. It's like the final boss for him. And just guessing, but this could also parallel with the fact that he's always a risk of becoming a major cult leader. Is that the divine tree? And broccoli. It's huge. Get in here, selfie! <laughs> <laughs> do you want this broccoli or do you want me to double it and give it to the next person? When many desires and wishes gather in one place, their accumulated energy gives rise to a new divinity. Oh, interesting. In the end, it's nothing more than a great, big, worthless piece of broccoli. In which case, why shouldn't I take possession of all that energy? Oh, it's Dimple. We're not in the clear with him yet. Episode 3. Something is returning. Once again, Mob Psycho killing it with the insight. The more I think about it, the older I get, the more I think that everybody worships something. Everybody has a, a belief structure that they rely on to function and not all belief structures are created equal. And as a side note, you could take almost any belief structure and have varying degrees of usefulness in those belief structures depending on how deep you go into it and how connected it is to truth and real principles. But if one hasn't cultivated their own, very good chance that someone else is providing it for them. Oftentimes, it's not for their benefit. It's for the benefit of whoever cultivated it in the first place. Shige, phone call for you. And it's a girl, too. Mom's so proud of her boy. <laughs> Probably relieved. Many claiming to be the founder of the Psycho Helmet religion. These groups just keep popping up. Someone besides you is going to end up being named the founder of the Psycho Helmet religion. What do you do in this situation if you're Mob? Talk about lame. Um. <laughs> Mom's spying on him. <laughs> so cute. You're going to end up super popular with the girls after this. <sighs> Even Takane's going to be into you. Oh. Mob just got worked. What's wrong? You've left me with no choice but to lead this ridiculous broccoli movement. It's you, Mob. Come to the founder auditions, okay? And now his face is just stuck like that. The leader everyone needs is me. <laughs> what a shock. 
Dimple, I wasn't expecting you. I'm a little unclear on what Dimple, Dimple wants. Does he want Mob there or not there? You're blowing something a girl said out of proportion. It happens to prepubescent what? boys Never. all the time. No. Same goes for those looks you think you've right. been getting. Right, prepubescent boys. Can't begin to imagine the Exclusively. extent to which no one ever notices you. Oh, Dimple, no. There is simply no way you've become popular. What did you come here for anyway? That legit made me angry. The one those people have been searching for is me, not you. What a turd brain. Is it gonna go to his head? I know that's not something I'm cut out for. Something about that was a huge relief. Sorry, I don't care about power. So this isn't something I'm going to be able to help you out with. There we go. That's the kid I know and love. In the end, aren't you just trying to come along and take over too? No, I'm... the thing is... I'm I different. Mean... So then, what makes you any different from the rest of them? Well, uh, uh... <laughs> I don't think that ended well. Best mid mid card screen. I don't think Dimples. I don't know what Dimples gonna do actually. Anything interesting going on in your life lately, Mob? I guess so. Well, sort of. Go on then. Tell us about it. Reagan's gonna flip if he hears about the girls. We've gotten like four requests to check out whether there's a supernatural explanation for why some buildings are deteriorating. Is it like broccoli roots? Before you leave, I still want to hear your story, Mob. <laughs> Huh. You think you've gotten more popular. Why is everyone so incredulous about this? I'm, I totally get it. He deserves to be popular. He's the man. I expected more from Reagan. Talk about half-assed. Yikes! Reagan would know having the greatest website on the internet. 500,000 <laughs> believers? Speaking of motivations. popular? And they accept donations to that. There it is. Yes. Everyone is a slave to something. Serving as the founder of a religion at least once is part of being a man! <laughs> Hundreds of thousands of people watching you. What the heck should I wear? Don't overthink it. Here's a bonus. <gasps> go buy yourself a nice outfit. Maybe someone should go with them. What do people usually wear for their moment in the spotlight? I don't know. I like this getup. Looks good. Kageyama? Uh, hey. I know exactly which shops to go to. Oh, really? That's great. Thank you. For a while now, I've been watching what's going on in the city. I'm guessing you must already be well aware of it yourself. This guy's like psychic Batman. He has his ear to the streets. Lately, it seems like I've got girls staring at me wherever I go. It's Please don't let this run to be a curse or something like that. I don't think it's a misunderstanding at all. When a guy's as cool as you are, the ladies just can't help looking his way, am I right? Thank you. Thank you. That's what I wanted to hear. And that's how I believe. That's what I believe. That's how I feel. Well, well, well. But yeah, it's a thin line. 5,000 yen on the dot and has a monkey design. All right, let's go with that. Sure, why not? And it's all thanks to Hanazawa. You don't say. That's just... As long as he feels good in it. If he feels confident in it, and he likes it, that's enough. You've seen Tome? <laughs> and Miss Otto tonight? I'm so busy. <laughs> just nodded all over myself again. But no Tsubomi. That feeling when you have a harem anime, but not the main girl you like. I wonder if the shirt is really all that cool. As long as you like it. It's a lot of monkeys, though. It's a lot of monkey for one shirt. How strange. Something happened to her? I feel like she wouldn't miss this. The emergence of the Divine Tree is clearly a message from the Earth. The Divine Tree is the nest of the dragon. The Divine Tree is an ex- Oh, and they're fighting over the various similar beliefs. Mizato, too. No answer. And she didn't tell me the location. I'll wait a little longer. The heck is going on? Uh, here he comes now. She I don't know. I don't know. Doesn't he? Uh, Dimple? Dimple. I am Psycho Helmet. The hell? That's not First. Mob. Reagan, you better get down there with your salt ASAP. Bones out of battery. To avoid confusion. Oh, is this Dimple's doing? But in light of the recent terrorist attack, I have come to the realization that this city is in need of a protector. From this point forward. Oh man, this is this is gross. <sighs> My battery's dead. Dimple. As your desires grow, the divine tree will increase in size and bring supreme happiness to the whole world. You should consider it an extension of me. All of your problems will be solved. I'm getting real Parasite Eve Opera House vibes right now. What in the world is going on here? Dimple. <laughs> 
I knew I was hard on him in season one and two for a reason. Never trusted him. Never. But did he accidentally do Mob a favor? It wasn't that much peril. Mob is always, he just has a great head on his shoulders. Best kid for real. That was the closest that there ever was a time where I thought he might be in some kind of danger. And it's no accident that it's connected to his weakness, right? Like the thing he craves the most, but feels powerless in. Power is not going to motivate him because he just has all of it. He's confident in that. He has nothing to prove to himself. Girls, however, gaping hole. Huge gaping hole in Mob Psyche. Popularity is... A blessing and a curse. Though I, I maintain that I, I love that he's popular. I would love for him to be popular and get all, all the girls he wants. 